Today, I'm going to be guiding you through how to set up Cert Manager. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that we're in the correct context. In this case, we are. Next, we're going to create the Cert Manager namespace. And then we're going to add this label to the Cert Manager namespace. Next, we'll apply the Cert Manager YAML file. This will actually install Cert Manager. And now if we go back into our Rancher install, go into Project Namespaces, we'll click the Cert Manager namespace and move it into the system project. Next thing we need to do is set up the cluster issuer. This is the YAML file that sets it up. This one specifically uses Cloudflare to verify your domains. So if your domains are on Cloudflare, you can use this. Later, I will show you a version of this that works on AWS Route 53. In this file, you're gonna wanna change the email address to your email. You're going to want to give this cluster issuer name. I gave it Let's Encrypt Prod because it will use the production endpoint of Let's Encrypt. And then for the Cloudflare specific information at the bottom, you need the email address that you signed up to Cloudflare with. Then you need the information for the secret where your Cloudflare credentials are stored. Let's also quickly go over the AWS cluster issuer. As you can see, everything is the same except at the bottom here. Instead of Cloudflare, you will see Route 53. And finally, the secret where the AWS credentials are stored. Next, I will show you how to create the secrets where the credentials are stored. To do this, go into Rancher, and at the top, go to Resources, Secrets, then Add Secret, add the name of the secret. This one I'm gonna call Cloudflare-API-Key-Secret because this is the same name we had in the cluster issuer, as you can see here. The key of the secret is gonna be API key, again, because this is the name we had in the cluster issuer.yaml. And for the value, this is where you would actually fill in your Cloudflare API token. Finally, before we hit save, let's scroll up to the top and make sure that this is only available in the cert manager namespace. And finally, you can now hit save. Now that everything is set up, we can go ahead and create the cluster issuer with this command. Once that's complete, you should go back into Rancher and now you should be able to see let's encrypt dash prod under your cert manager namespace under secrets. Next thing we're going to want to do is create the certificate.yaml file. You will need to create one of these files for each domain that you want to get an SSL certificate for. Here you can see the example. I am creating a certificate for eventsaralearn.com. At the top, we can see uh, the name I'm giving it is eventsaralearn-com and the namespace will be this uh, same na namespace that the actual website's going to be on, which is default. Next is the secret name. So this is the secret name where the actual certificate will be stored. So that's eventsaralearn-com-tls. And then the issuer ref. So this is what we will use to actually create the certificate. We're going to use the cluster issuer that we created earlier. The cluster issuer name is the same as before. Let's encrypt-prod. And I want this to be a wildcard certificate. So for common name, I will pick star.eventsaralearn.com. And for DNS names, I will give it the actual name, which is eventsaralearn.com. And then for, and then finally domains, uh, here you can add any extra domains. Since it's a wildcard domain, I just need the star.eventsaralearn.com and the actual eventsaralearn.com. After this YAML file has been created and saved to certificate.yaml, I can go into my terminal and create it using this command. Creating a SSL cert using a DNS challenge can take up to a few minutes. So I will show you a few commands that will help you to see the status of the certificate. The first one I will show you is kubectl get certificate. This will list all the certificates that are available. In this case, it's just my eventsaralearn.com certificate. Next, you can do kubectl describe certificate and the name of the certificate. In this case, eventsaralearn-com. Here you can see the status of the certificate order. You can see it's been generated and then a self-signed certificate has been generated and the order has been created. Next, you can take the order number and say 
kubectl describe order and see the status of the order. Finally, again, do kubectl get certificate. And now the ready should change to true. Once you see that the certificate is ready and shows true, go back into your Rancher install, go to default, go to resources, certificates, and you should be able to see your certificate here. Congratulations, you now have Cert Manager installed and set up.